here and welcome back to another episode of tomb raider <clears throat> in the last episode we stopped at a campsite as we were following the path of the deathless and today we shall continue the path of the deathless oh loot great start right well if we can get up there we go great start to this episode i don't know why i switched weapons i've been playing i've been playing um what's it called pray again so now the button layout is completely different and I'm probably gonna misclick a lot of things but deal with it amazing Jacob I'm heading in what will I find down here my people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago but it should be safe at least until you make it past the orrery was it part of the observatory it was built by my astronomers before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. I'm not sure, but I think Ori is like a public speaking place. Like a place where you would hold speeches and debates and stuff like that. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we get closer. So that's the door. What's this then? Oh, okay, so she's, she wants to walk up to the door and go like, oh, I can't get in. I'm gonna have to go through the crack, that's it. Anything to loot? Hope. Okay, we can climb back up if we want. Or just slide. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. This is extraordinary. Maybe the orrery isn't what I thought it was. Maybe Let's that was an oratory. Works. What are those? Oh, sparklies, I guess. Let's see how this thing works. Well, it doesn't work by doing that. <laughs> Can you? Thank you. Get back up. So what, you just want me to blindly jump? No, they did not want me to blindly jump. Uh, maybe I should have used an E. Or am I missing something? There's no rope to tie onto. There's that thing. Oh, of course, just pull it so it... Now I can jump to it. Good. This looks really dangerous. Can I walk on anything here? That's the question. Like, I broke through the leaves down there, so... Can I walk on this? I can walk on this, apparently. Right, that... The thing that go lifts that thing up, that lifts that thing somewhere. Should I pull it? Let's try pulling it. See what happens. So now I created a bridge from that place to there, and I can go up there. Okay. And the question is, how do I get up there then? Is that something I can grab onto? Yeah, it is. And, but I can't shoot from here. Okay, that missed. And she knocked her head and fell. <clears throat> okay, this is a bit of a puzzle. We'll need to see where is it we want to go. Got to get that into the right position. Get what in the right position. Alright, then I can jump over there. Does that help me? Maybe. If I pull that one once more. Let's try this one. Nope, that didn't... That, that refused to work with me.
Right, do I pull it twice and then I can climb up to that bridge? Which should enable me to... Maybe, maybe that'll work? One more? Let's do one more. But I'm kind of in the wrong position for this. Maybe that's all I need. Grab on you. No, no. Okay, she grabbed it. No, oh, okay, she swung like that. Yeah, I guess climbing up wouldn't help me. Oh, crap. Hmm. 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 She's accurate with that, though. Those don't have any ropes, so I can't pull them. That one does, but that doesn't help me, because that was just to show me... If, oh, wait. Can, could that work? Like if I pull that one. Okay, it'll swing. Good. Then I can climb up here. I think. Jesus. I can swing over. To that one. No. Right, where did we have everything? Everything is in place, great. So, jump, hook, fly over, jump, grab, climb up. Now I can get up to the highest point. At least we're going somewhere. Hey. Alright, that's good. Now what is this? I can do something with this. It's locked. Just have to disengage the mechanism. Okay, so does that mean it spins now? There's another swingy part. And what is this? Oh, there's there's another, another lock on the other side. Is there any loot back here? That's something. The Mongols destroyed everything and the city sank beneath the ice. Sank beneath the ice. Does it mean that the city was built on a lake? How could it otherwise sink beneath the ice? Interact! Pretty high tech stuff though. <clears throat> Jacob's people were ahead of their time. Huh. Watch your step, Lara. No, really? Okay. Watch your step, Lara. Now it's spinning. Just got to make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. Time it just right for what? Why why do we want to go to the top? Oh, I'm supposed to be in that end. I can't, apparently I can't walk. Now what? Patience, Lara. Now! Alright. Have we gotten any higher? I'm not sure. So, now what?
That would be going downwards. From here I can get up on that. But does that help me? Or do I want to jump in towards that? Is that where I want to go next? No, that wasn't it. But what the fuck? Okay, I'll wait for a bit for that thing to come around, then climb up it. Aren't I, am I not just climbing around on the same level continuously? So what's the idea? What am I looking for? Those. Just got to keep climbing. Now that's what I thought. Why didn't it work last time? It's a mystery though. Grab on. All right, good. <clears throat> we made it up. Lock door, thingy, thingy. All right, here we go. What makes this thing spin, by the way? Oh, okay, good. What do we get? That was like an optional tomb, but it wasn't optional. <coughs> Yep. This one speaks of the advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. Classically trained, what does that do? Increased number of arrows that can be rapidly shot without redrawing from the quiver to three. Okay. So before we had double shot, now we have triple shot. Uh, I guess. I guess that's something. I mean, we have the headshot thing anyway, so. If we need to shoot more than one arrow, we have failed. She trusts these arrows really well. Like she just jumps to them, no problem. The old city's close. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes. I think that's where they want They're me to go. Their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. All right. So we're staging. Wait. Where are they attacking from? Because they're not with me here, that's for sure. And if they have a path easy enough to mount an attack from, why why am I not going there? Anything here? Nope. Just a fail safe. Deathless armies. I guess they are. Uh, 
Remember guys, if you ever go go on an adventure, bring your ice pick access things. That was a good example on why you should bring your ice pick access things. Oh, crap. Keep moving, Lara. That was blind faith. She had no idea what was beyond there. Wait, that ravine wasn't that deep. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> I was just checking there if there was something to do with the wall, like could I crack it open or something. I have to admit, this is a gorgeous game though. I can't remember what my screenshot button is, but this will be a good screenshot. Am I supposed to jump? No, I'm supposed to... Oh, fuck off! Again, with the shifting of the weight thing. I've, I'm really upset with that um, mechanic. F12? Yeah, F12, what's that button? Took a couple of screenshots. Should I go up? No, I should not go up. Well, I have to go up. Yeah. Set pieces are gorgeous. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's let's jump off to the side. This would be a lot easier with a controller than a keyboard. Since you're locked to pretty much eight directions with a keyboard, whereas the analog stick you have 360 full control. Uh, there's a lot of places in this game where I notice that it's meant to be played with controller. So if you're playing this game on a PC, uh, like I don't know if you get inspired from watching this or something and you decide to try it out, uh, get a controller. I think you'll have a lot more. Uh, it will feel a lot better when you play. This keyboard for this game isn't isn't perfect. Hmm, we found another one. We get some new skills though. I'm just I'm just clicking that one because I want to master a tree completely before we end the game. Hope I get a chance to do that. That one's not unlocked yet. Then we have nothing that we want to upgrade. Might as well just save the materials in case we get something nicer later. But we are full on a lot of stuff. Jump that chasm. And they're all immortal. I wonder if headshots don't work on them in that case. <clears throat> but Jacob said he can be hurt, he can bleed, he can feel pain. Does that mean like if you shoot, if you destroy the brain? For whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but... I doubt I have the strength. A divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the Prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. 
With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. Huh. Somebody will realize something at the end of his rope. So he said by every death and rebirth they learn so they cannot die like apparently you can kill them temporarily but then they wake up again. So this will be fun I guess. Another campsite? How many campsites do they have? Lame we didn't have a level up. What about over here? Is there anything over here? Feathers? I'm full on feathers. Avid learner. No? No, oh, it's just materials. Alright, well let's go then. Yeah, shit. Oh, he doesn't see the hand. Alright. I would have seen the hand. Totally would have seen the hand. I say confidently enough to say probably missed like a thousand times in his joy. There we go. <clears throat> Kick him in the head. Or just nail him with the axe. Well, he died. Uh oh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Get the zoom on. Probably somebody there. Oh, what the? I'm, I'm, I, I, I do. I'm better off kicking them with melee attacks. And that was one of those dodge things that I haven't tried out yet. I wondered why the what the red circle was. Oh, more of them. Oh. Skill animation can't hurt me then. Oh, okay, I have to. No, that was good. Ah. These guys suck ass. Oh. I'm better off killing in melee. Loot, 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 loot. Okay, but they are they get reborn apparently. That's a more awful on arrows. So, I'm in the middle of the shit right here. Where? Where did I hear that from? What? He didn't die? Shots. What was that shit sound? Where am I going? 
Alright, and it's there. Small room. There's no way up there. Okay, this is the only place to go. If you can hit me, I, I can be able to hit you. Fuck. Alright. <clears throat> These guys ain't so bad. They're a little bit more alert than the soldiers have been, at least. I guess it's because they already know I'm here. So sneaky, sneaky won't help anymore. Melee works pr treat though. I don't know if you notice, but my camera always shakes when I start doing melee. It's because I have my melee on my uh, mouse button, like the thumb button, which means that whenever I try to strike, especially when I'm frantic, I keep jogging, jolting the mouse a little bit. I think it works pretty okay, even though I shake the mouse, because usually when you start doing melee, you're, you're, you're panicking anyways. Oh, hello there. That's not the one I wanted. Whoa. Fuck the bomb. Ow! Well, you just beat me down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck you! Arrow through the neck, dick. More grenade arrows. Ow. They keep talking about the deathless ones, but from a game mechanical st standpoint, there's really no change. I mean, I'm killing these guys. They might be reborn, but they're not reborn here, so I don't know. It's like more enemies spawning later. I, I don't care about that. Oh yeah, I couldn't grab onto that. It was uh, I could shoot fire if I wanted to. Or something. All right, it's good. Full up on everything. Sorry. I can make one fire arrow. No, oh, two. Nice. What's that? Look. Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the prophet's path. And twice before, they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, <clears throat> just to reach this place. To retrieve the divine source, I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. Does that mean that we are nearing the final battle? Like, is this the final section of the game? I'm probably gonna whip General, at some. Oh. We observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Katesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the paths on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. 
there was a sound that froze my blood. A roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. So that was when the Prophet's army became undead. Or undeathly? Deathless? This is hmm, particularly odd. It has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, n not possible. Well, that didn't give us much to go on. That's death, I'm pretty sure. Help! I can go back. I don't want to go back. I think. Is there a reason for why I would want to go back? No, there isn't. Find a way into the lost city of Kitesh. We're slipping and sliding, and we're hitting the E. Huh. No, okay. Break everything, why don't you? For a second, I thought it was a reflection. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? It ain't that dark, Lara. You don't need a glow stick. Lara, they're going to break through the ice any minute. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. The Chamber of Souls. The Divine Source has to be there. Can I guess in the glowy room? Is that a good guess? Looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. What gate? Oh, that one. All right. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the prophet's people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet. Their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. Okay, so they were so hell-bent on protecting everything that they decided to screw it. Let's just bury it all. And sacrifice a bunch of people for it. I don't it. know <coughs> what I expected an immortal being to be like. But Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years. All that experience and knowledge. It's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine's... Well, I don't know, but it, I don't think lying to his people is the biggest sin. I mean, he, he buried thousands of them under ice. And most of them weren't deathless. Important to remember. I do. I don't see any deathless. They gave us materials for arrows. I 
That's one. I don't know if that was smart or not. I mean, he was wearing a helmet. <clears throat> Let's shift over a bit so we don't drop down into anything. Oh, they found me. It seems. I guess we can say that wasn't very smart to kill that guy in that case. Really? How, 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 can you, how much shit can you take? There's probably a lot of loot in this area. <coughs> Which would, would mean searching through a lot of stuff. <coughs> I'm not 100% sure I will go through everything. But if I see something, I will loot it. No. Okay. Anything Signals. else going on around here? I should take these out. Signals? Please? Those aren't the signals you mean? What signals? These? Oh, wrong button. How many of those are there then? That thing next to that thing. So it's a quick way down to there. Is that somewhere I want to go? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm gonna stay on the roofs for now. Oh, snap. <laughs> Oh, good. Is that one of these? It was. Hold on. Avid learner. An ancient carving of a pagan god. Perhaps a fertility idol. It's thousands of years old. Sure is. We're heading that way, like, we're, we're supposed to go that way. So I'm gonna go check what's over here. Whoa! Into the brain. Hey, ho, hi. That's water. I saw some, some lootable just now. I think it's water. It might be poison. <coughs> Who can tell? No, oh, it's not poison at least. That would have killed me in that case. Or acid or some other bullshit. Okay, can't climb up there. 
That looks kind of climbable, doesn't it? Nope. Too hard. Ah, uh, not into the water. Oh. Try this way. Could probably snuck the whole thing as well. But I like to fight. And so I did. So how do I get up there? Oh fuck off. There's that rope that goes way over there. That's a down. I don't think I can jump that. And that didn't work either. Hmm. <coughs> That's not climbable ice. That's not climbable ice. Very little here is climbable, to be honest. Well, that did not go at all where I intended it to. So is there no way to get up there? I totally feel there should be a way to get up there. It doesn't seem to be though, does there? Like I'm not catching any way up. But that that's ice. That's climbable ice right there. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Does that is, oh shit. Is that thing one of those I can nail arrows to? No. And I can't climb on this either. Nope. Can I climb on that edge? You should be able to grab that edge in my opinion. Okay, so there is a way to get there. Now, figure out, figure out how. That side looks pretty much impossible. Unless there's still something I didn't notice up there. I mean, you can climb up there, so what's the point if you can't do anything from here? That doesn't work either. What the fuck? Back up. Look, there's clearly a way up there. There's a bell even there. But not from here. That much is obvious now. either. Tried to cheat it. Is there anything here then? How the fuck are you supposed to get up there? Monolith. These characters look Mongolian. But I can't read what it says. Huh. That is super weird. Not that you can't read what it says, the, the fact that we can't figure out a way to get up there. It's usually not this complicated.
God damn it, Lara. There's nothing on this side. I think you can climb that crack. That's unlikely. That wooden structure there is like the most tantalizing one. But we tried that and it didn't really work. I'm going to go back one more time and check. And if I can't figure it out, I'm going to never mind it, I think. What is red? Alright, well that was... The bell. That long ass rope though. Tantalizing. But I'm pretty sure we can't reach it. No matter how how much we would like to. Nope. Can't even get up there. Yeah, never mind it. But I'm going to end the episode here. I think I've been playing for more than half an hour. So in the next episode, we're going to go head for that door right in front of us right there and see if we can continue the story. Thank you, wife. Thank you for watching the episode so far. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.